Hello friends, welcome to a new video lecture of the chapter Current Electricity. This is the uh, part 8 of the chapter. In this chapter we are discussing combination of resistors 3. In this video lecture we are discussing symmetry rule to solve complicated resistors network okay symmetry rule means there are two types of symmetry mirror symmetry and folding symmetry mirror symmetry and folding symmetry okay mirror symmetry is also called perpendicular symmetry mirror symmetry is also called perpendicular symmetry and folding symmetry also called parallel symmetry opposite arms opposite arms have same current opposite arms have same current and in folding symmetry we will take opposite points will have same potential in folding symmetry we will take opposite points we will have same symmetry same potential and uh, in mirror symmetry we will use opposite arms have same current okay to understand this concept we are going into the questions first we are doing questions of mirror symmetry okay question number one all resistors are identical mirror symmetry is also called a perpendicular symmetry so here we have to assume a plane we have to assume a plane perpendicular to a b a b are the points okay between those points we are calculating effective resistance of the network so perpendicular to a b we have to draw a perpendicular plane we have to assume a perpendicular plane okay then we will get mirror image of the first part on the next side okay this is the lhs left hand side and this is the right hand side left hand side and right hand sides are mirror images that is why this is called a mirror symmetry once more a plane we have to assume perpendicular to a b that means the points uh, between those points we are calculating effective resistance so this acts like a mirror okay if this portion is taken as the object the opposite uh, <laughs> side is taken as the image okay now just assume current i entering to the network then this current will split into two pieces here i1 and here i2 okay so opposite arms should have same current okay that is the principle uh, we are using in case of mirror symmetry right so at b there is current i b is the image of a as the image of a in this arm i1 is entering so here 
I one should leave. Opposite arm should have same current. And here, here I two. Now, when I one reaches this junction, what happens? I one splits into two pieces. I am giving I three and I four. So opposite arm should have same current. So I three will reach here. And I4 should reach here. Opposite arms have should have same current. Now listen here. Yeah? I3 will directly will reach this junction, right? And here we have to get I1 because I1 splits into I3 and I4. So this I4 will reach directly to this junction. So I4 directly reaches to this junction, right? then nothing happens for i4 at this junction nothing happens for i4 at this junction that means as there is no junction at the middle as there is no junction at the middle i4 no decrease and no increase in i4 so no need of this junction okay as there is no need of this junction now again, once more we can say hi I2 at the lower arm when reaches this junction, I2 will split into two pieces. We can give uh, I5 and I6. Okay, I5 will reach here, and you have to get I2 in this arm, right? So to get I2, I2 splits into I5 and I6. To get I2 here, I6 to uh, should reach here. I6 should reach here so no need of this junction here actually okay so using mirror symmetry we can cancel out junctions using mirror symmetry we can cancel out junctions now you can draw the equivalent network here R R series you will get 2R and at the lower part also r r series will get 2r 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 parallel will get r and at the bottom also r r series we will get 2r and here also r r series we will get 2r 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 parallel will get r okay r r r r r r 3r parallel with 3r the result is 3r by 2 okay Thus, we can draw the effective network, equivalent network. This is the effective network. RR series will get 2R. RR series will get 2R. Okay, here also RR series 2R. RR series 2R. Okay. Now you can calculate. R 2R 2R parallel. We will get R here. 2R 2R parallel. We will get R here. So 3R on the top and 3R at the bottom at the lower arm. Three R three R parallel. We will get R effective equal to three R comes two times in parallel. So R effective equal to three R by two. Okay, just assume a plane perpendicular to AB. Okay, then opposite arms should have same current. Then we can cancel out junctions. Okay, second question of mirror symmetry. You just pause the video and try to solve it. Okay, listen. 
here we can divide this network into two pieces vertically perpendicular to a b using a plane okay we will get mirror image of left hand side on right hand side then we have to take opposite arms same current so current i enters at a so that current i should leave from b okay that i splits into two pieces right i1 i2 so here it will be i1 reaching towards b and i2 also reaching towards b so you see here i1 is reaching this 2R again it should reach in this 2R should pass through this 2R then only it will be I1 here so this junction is not needed as there is no such a junction okay like that you can see I2 is coming to R then to R then it reaches towards B so no need of this junction so we can say current in the center arm is zero current in the center arm is zero no need of the center arm okay now we can find the solution easily to our to our series then we will get four or okay and to our to our series at the lower arm A, B. Now we can say for R parallel with the two R. Then what is R effective? For R, R one into R two by R one plus R two. Okay, one R is cancelled. Two six cancel three. We will get four R by three. Is the effective resistance? Okay. Okay, question number three. This is the third question. Find the effective resistance between A and B. Okay, just to pause the video and try to solve. Okay, here also we can uh, give apply mirror symmetry. Assuming a plane. Okay, perpendicular to A B. Image of mirror image of R H S L H S is at the R H S. So opposite arms have same current. I reaches at junction A at A, so it splits into I1, I2, I3. Okay, so I should leave from B. Okay, I1 should reach at B. So as there is no this junction. Okay, now I3 should directly reach at B according to mirror symmetry. So there is no disjunction. Okay, again, I2 should reach directly at B. So no connections. So center arms are cancelled. Okay, now we can say what? R R series to R R R series to R R R series to R. So while drawing the equivalent network, to R to R to R, three to R's are in parallel. So R effective equal to to R by three. Fourth question. Okay. All resistors are identical or just to pause the video and try to solve it. Okay, now listen. Here also we can apply mirror symmetry. 
perpendicular to ab at the middle we can assume a plane perpendicular plane so we will get a mirror image of lhs on the rhs current entering at a i should leave from b that i divides into two pieces i1 and i2 then what happens according to mirror symmetry i2 should directly reach at b i2 should directly reach at b that means what current is not increasing and not decreasing due to this junction so that junction we can neglect we can neglect or we can cancel out this junction okay now we can do we can uh, draw the equivalent network here r r series to r okay so drawing equivalent network r r r to r a b r r r r r this is 2r okay now r r series will get 2r here r and r series will get 2r and here r and 2r parallel r parallel with 2r r into 2r by r plus 2r or we will get 3 sorry 2r square by 3r we will get 2r by 3 so drawing the equivalent network again r plus r we will get r 2r 2r plus 2r by 3 2r plus 2r by 3 we will get 6r plus 2r by 3 or 8r by 3 so 8r by 3 at the upper arm and 2r on the lower arm so 8r by 3 parallel with 2r 8r by 3 into 2r r1 r2 divided by 8r by 3 plus 2r 8r by 3 into 2r divided by 8r plus 6r all divided by 3 okay 3 3 cancelled 16r divided by 14 r will cancel so we can say 8r by 7 is the effective resistance question number A, B. All resistors are identical. R, R, R. Okay. How, how to solve? As in assuming a plane perpendicular to A, B. Then we will get mirror image of LHS on RHS. Then assuming current I entering at a so that current i should leave from b that current i divides into three pieces i1 i2 i3 then here what happens i1 directly reaches to b and i2 directly reaches at b i2 reaches here mirror image opposite arms have same current 
so we can say no increase in i2 and no decrease in i2 so as there is no a junction like this we can cancel out this junction okay now you can calculate okay here r r series will get to r r r series you 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 will get to r okay so during uh, using mirror symmetry using mirror symmetry we can cancel out junctions so redrawing from a to b directly a here b here 2r Two are these two arms are over. Next, here two are here two are from A. Two are and also from B there is two are. These are over. Now here two are two are. So now you can see 2R to R parallel we will get R here okay then this 2R here R and this 2R are in series 2R plus R plus 2R you will get 5R we will get 5R so again drawing the equivalent network B here, A here, 2R, 2R, 5R. Okay, now 2R, 2R parallel, we will get R here. And R and 5R are parallel. So, R effective equal to R1, R2, R into 5R by 6R. We will get 5 by 6R is the right answer 5 by 6 r is the right answer Okay, find the effective resistance between P and Q. What we have to do? A vertical plane perpendicular symmetry, mirror symmetry, opposite arms have same current, I entering at P should leave from Q, I divides into three pieces, I1, I2, I3. Okay. I1 should reach directly towards Q using mirror symmetry so we can cancel out this junction and I2 should directly reach towards Q so we can cancel out this junction and I3 should reach directly towards Q so we can cancel out this junction. Now you can say the answer small r is a resistance different from capital R. Okay. Now drawing the equivalent network 2R 2R parallel series we will get 4R 2R 2R series we will get 4R small r small r series we will get 2 small r. So drawing the equivalent network 2R sorry 4R here 2 small r. 4 or okay P and Q now 4 or 4 or parallel first then you will get 2 or okay 2 capital R 2 small r 
the final effective resist, eff, uh, equivalent network between P and Q. Now, R effective R1, R2 into R1 plus R2. 2R into 2R by 2, we can take an outside R plus R. So, 1, 2 is cancelled. We get R effective equal to what? 2 capital R small r divided by capital R plus small r. This is the answer. So, using mirror symmetry, we can cancel out junctions. Okay. Next question. Now, we can do some problems based on folding symmetry. Okay, here is the question. Okay, listen carefully here. Here we can't apply mirror symmetry. Why? When we are applying a plane perpendicular to B, AB, plane perpendicular to AB, we will not get mirror image of LHS on RHS. Because here it is R, here it is 2R. Here it is R, here it is 2R. So here we can't apply mirror symmetry. But here you can see, when we are assuming a plane along AB, when we are applying a plane along AB, along the points, between those points we are finding the effective resistance, then we, we will get mirror image of upper part on the lower side. Okay, Along AB, that we can say a parallel symmetry or folding symmetry. When we are folding that network, we will get the mirror image on the upper side and lower side. Okay. Parallel symmetry or folding symmetry. This is point A. No resistors here. So, this point is also A and this point is also A. And here it is B. No resistance. So, this point is also B and this point is also B. And here you can say, see a point A junction X. So, opposite points have same potential x. Opposite points have same potential. So, x. Okay. Now, you, you can see. For the flow of current, there should be a potential difference. Same potential means potential difference equal to 0. If potential difference equal to 0, then current I equal to 0 according to Ohm's law. So, we can say current in the mid arm is 0. There is no current in the mid arm. Because for the current, there should be a potential difference. For the current, there should be a potential difference. The middle arm is connected at the same point of the battery as connected at the same point of the battery at the uh, the two ends are connected at the negative terminal or the two ends are connected at the positive terminal then there is no current like that here no potential difference that means same potential so no current in the mid arm then the circuit becomes like this without the mid arm now we can say R to R series here R to R series so drawing the equivalent network we will get 3R on the top and 3R at the bottom 3R parallel 3R R effective equal to 3R by 2 R effective equal to 3R by 2 
okay next question okay you can see here this network we can use both mirror symmetry and folding symmetry here why when we are drawing a perpendicular to a b you will get mirror image of lhs on rhs and when we are drawing a parallel along a b a line a plane parallel to a b then you will get mirror image of upper arm on the lower arm so here you can apply both the folding symmetry and the mirror symmetry okay in this diagram i am trying to apply folding symmetry okay in such diagrams if you can apply both mirror and folding symmetries then it is best to use folding symmetry it is easy to use folding symmetry okay uh, how you will understand it after doing some more questions okay so i am taking folding symmetry a plane parallel to ab so opposite points have same potential right here a here we have a resistance r so this can't be a so i am giving x here so opposite points have same potential here also x and now after r here we will get a point between these two r's i am giving that point as y so just to opposite there is also y and this is a common point i am giving it as o this is a common point o okay now here this point is not b because here is a resistance so i am giving it as z also opposite points should also z opposite points have same potential now you see very carefully here between a and x how many resistors are connected between a and x here one resistor and here another resistor so we can say between a and x we have two resistance effectively like this here it is a here it is x r r then what will be the effective r by 2 right what will be the effective r by 2 so taking effective of these two resistors we will get r by 2 so i am removing this resistance and writing here it is r by 2 effective is r by 2 because effective of the two resistors between a and x is r by 2 now you see between x and y here is a resistance capital r between x and y here is a resistance capital r so so two resistances in parallel between x and y so effective is what r by 2 okay now between y and z you can see a resistance capital r here between y and z again one more resistance between y and z so they are parallel so we can say here it is r by 2 okay now you can see between b and z here is a resistance r between b and z here is a resistance r so we can give r by 2 here r r parallel effective is r by 2 between o and z here is a resistance r between o and z here is a resistance r so we will get effective resistance r by 2 here okay all all effective you should write on the upper side or all should write on the lower side okay now between x and o here is a resistance r between x and o here is a resistance r then you will get r by 2 here okay now you can calculate then here by applying folding symmetry by applying folding symmetry we reduced the network into half okay now r by 2 r by 2 series we will get r r by 2 r by 2 series we will get r r r series we will get r by 2 r by 2 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 3 r by 2 is the answer so, okay so drawing the drawing the equivalent network r by 2 r r r by 2 a here b here r by 2 
this also r by 2 here r by 2 r by 2 series so r r and r r we will get r by 2 so effective is 3 r by 2s are in series so 3 r by 2 okay i think you got the idea in folding symmetry opposite arms have same potential Next question. All arms have same resistance capital R. Here you can apply both mirror symmetry and folding symmetry. Perpendicular symmetry and parallel symmetry. Both you can apply. But by applying mirror symmetry these two junctions are still the it is not they are not cancelled out they are not going to be cancelled out so no meaning of applying mirror symmetry here so which symmetry is better to apply here folding symmetry now you just pause the video and try to solve it assuming a perpendicular along a b folding symmetry or parallel symmetry okay you can give opposite points have same potential so here it is a this point i am giving x so opposite point this is also x here this point i am giving y so this point is also y here is a common point i am giving it as o okay and this point I am giving Z. Oh, then this point is also Z. And this X, Y, Z is over. So then we can give PQ, right? This point is P. So opposite point. This point is also P. And this point is Q. And this point is also Q. And here it is B. And here is one more coin, common point. I am giving it as O dash. Or you can give AB. Okay, whatever it may be. Okay. Two common points now we can apply folding symmetry here just listen carefully listen carefully between a and x we have two resistors right two resistors parallel r r parallel we will get r by 2 so here we will get effective r by 2 now between x and y here is an r here is also an r so we will get effective r by 2 here now between x and o here is r between x and o here is also r then we will get effective r by 2 here now between y and z r between y and z r then we will get what r by 2 here again between here it is z right between z and o there is r between z and o there is r so we will get r by 2 here effective now between z and o dash r between z and o dash r then we will get here also effective r by 2 now between z and p r between z and p r so we will get effective r by 2 here now between p and q r between p and q r then we will get effective r by 2 now between o dash and q r between o dash and q here is also r or is that r okay here is also r so we will get r by 2 here effective r by 2 between b and q r between b and q r then we will get effectively r by 2 here so 
the network becomes or reduced to half okay then you can find and you can draw the effective equivalent network here r by 2 r by 2 series then you will get r r by 2 r by 2 series you will get r so r r parallel you will get r by 2 here also r by 2 r by 2 series you will get r r by 2 r by 2 series you will get r r r parallel you will get r by 2 so r by 2 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 2 r is the answer okay now we can draw the equivalent network from a there is r by 2 1 r and 1 r again r r r by 2 b r by 2 r r r r this is r by 2 a r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 series r here also r by 2 r by 2 series r okay like that now r by 2 r by 2 series a parallel r r parallel you will get r by 2 r r parallel you will get r by 2 how many r by 2s are in series 4 r by 2s are in series so effective is what 4 r by 2 4 r by 2 we know that it is 2 r okay symbol when you understood the idea okay what was the actual network this was the actual network right okay we reduced this to half and x and x so effective r by 2 like that so we got the final network like this that's why i told you applying folding symmetry is better than applying mirror symmetry if both are possible in a question question number 10 star network okay all resistances are identical equal to small r or you can give capital r okay total how many resistors you can see 15 identical resistors 15 identical resistors are connected to form a star network then what is the effective resistance between a and b what is the effective resistance between a and b between A and B, you can't make mirror symmetry here. But you can make folding symmetry. Folding symmetry is made along AB. Along AB. So, along AB, this network we can divide into two pieces. We can divide into two pieces. Okay, I am drawing this network. Can draw it in a big size. Here it is A, this is B. Folding symmetry along AB. This is not perpendicular symmetry. AB is vertically okay. So, folding symmetry perpendicular, sorry, parallel to AB or along AB. Now, opposite points have same potential. This point is A. Here we can give X. Here also X. Here we are giving Y. So, here we are giving Y. Here Z. 
so here z x y z finished so we can give p and here p and this is p now opposite points have same potential now look here between a and x between a and x we have two resistors so parallel connection so we will get here r by 2 we can cancel out this arm between x and y here resistance r between x and y here resistance r so we will get r by 2 here again between x and z here r between x and z here r so this arm is cancelled effective is r by 2 between y and z here r between y and z here r so i cancel this y and z and effective is r by 2 okay between z and b here is r between z and b here is r so i wrote here r by 2 and i cancelled this arm and between z and p here r between z and p here r i wrote here effective r by 2 and this arm is cancelled and between z and between b p and b here is r between b and p here is r so i cancelled this arm and i wrote effective r by 2 here and here is one arm right this arm this arm ends of this arm are connected to the same point so no current in that arm no current in that arm so no need of thinking about that arm so we can cancel out this arm also if a wire both ends of a wire is connected to a same point no current will be the same potential no potential difference so no current so we can't cons consider this now you can and now you can find the resultant drawing the equivalent network from a there is r by 2 then r by 2 r by 2 series you will get what r r and an r by 2 is parallel to this network r by 2 now this is over right next here r by 2 r by 2 series then we got r and an r by 2 is parallel to the, that r and we reached b here r r by 2 parallel r into r by 2 divided by r plus r by 2 that means r into r by 2 divided by 3 r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 cancelled we got r by 3 so drawing again effective r by 2 r by 3 r by 3 sorry this is r by 2 okay this one these are in parallel so effective resistance by adding r by 2 plus 2 r by 3 we will get 3 r plus 4 r divided by 6 so r effective equal to 7 r by 6 this is the effective resistance of star network which is found using folding symmetry Here is next question all resistances are identical r r we have to find we have to find effective resistance between a and b just to pause the video and try to solve it you will get it right 
folding symmetry here we will not get here we will not get mirror symmetry so we have to take the symmetry which is along a b like this folding symmetry along a b okay or parallel to a b parallel symmetry now opposite points are given same potentials so here this point i am giving x so opposite point here it is x this point i am giving y so here it is also y or any other points no okay so you see here the lower arm both ends are connected to x the lower arm both ends are connected to x so no current in the lower arm so lower arm is cancelled no need of the lower arm and uh, next for this arm both ends are connected to y so no need of this network this arm too okay now between y and x here is an r between y and x here is an r so effective is r by 2 here i am writing r by 2 effective r by 2 between a and x here is an r between a and x here is an r so i am cancelling this and uh, writing effective here r by 2 and between v and y there is an r between b and y there is a r so i am cancelling this writing r by 2 here so the network is again reduced to half portion so now drawing the equivalent network a a resistance r here b this resistance now from a r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 listen from a r by 2 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 these 3 r by 2s are in series 3 r by 2s are in series over now 3 r by 2 parallel with r then we will get r effective equal to what 3 r by 2 into r by 3 r by 2 plus r that is 1.5 r plus r 2.5 r that is 5 r by 2 r by 2 cancelled we got 3 by 5 r is the effective resistance question number 12 the last question of the lecture all resistors are identical and there is no connection here okay there is no connection here okay so applying folding symmetry here i have to find effective resistance between a and b parallel symmetry or folding symmetry okay now we can see C and E are actually same points. There is no resistance or opposite points have same potential. E equal to C. And here also F equal to D. So F and D are same and uh, E and C are same. So now between A and E here is a resistance and between A and C here is a resistance. So R R parallel we will get R by 2. Now between c and d here is a resistance between e and f here is a resistance parallel then we have to write r by 2 here effective now between 
D and B here is a resistance between B and F or B and D okay there is a resistance R there are two resistances in parallel so effective is R by 2 now you look here this point I am giving as a common point O so between OE between OC C is same as E there is a resistance there are two resistors in parallel so you will get r by 2 here effective and between o and f between o and d f equal to d so there is a resistance r r by 2 so there are two wires suspended from c and d but they are as not connected to any network from c and d there are two wires suspended but they are not connected to any network here so no need of thinking about this wire now you can see this is actually r this is effective resistance r right okay now drawing the equivalent resistance equivalent network r by 2 here r by 2 r by 2 sorry we can't do like that here we have to apply mirror symmetry to avoid this tension. Now we have to apply mirror symmetry here because here is a junction, right? Mirror symmetry, applying mirror symmetry. I mean, a single question we are applying, we applied folding symmetry. Now we are going to apply mirror symmetry to avoid this tension. What do you have to do? Think about current I entering at A. So that current I should leave from B. So that current I divides into two pieces. I1 and I2. So I2 will pass directly towards B. I2 will pass directly towards B. That means no increase in I2 and no decrease in I2. So no need of this junction. okay now you can say r by 2 r by 2 series r here r by 2 r by 2 r r so drawing equal network between a and b r r here lower network 2r a here b here this is 2r lower network and here r by 2 R by 2 these are over and uh, AR by 2 at the top and R by 2 R by 2 series so R by 2 R by 2 series we will get R here and you now you can find the answer how first R by 2 parallel with the R what will be the effective r by 2 into r by r by 2 plus r that is 3 r by 2 we will get r by 3 but this is actually r by 3 so on the top r by 2 r by 3 r by 2 r series so r by 2 plus r by 2 we will get r r plus r by 3 we will get 4 r by 3 once more r by 2 plus r by 3 plus r by 2 you will get r by 2 plus r by 2 r r plus r by 3 you will get 3 r plus r by 3 that is 4 r by 3 then drawing the equivalent network 4 r by 3 on the top and 2 r at the bottom Now how to find final effective R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 4, uh, 4 R by 3 into 2 R divided by 4 R by 3 plus 2 R. So 4 R by 3 into 2 R divided by 4 R plus 3 into 2 6 R 10 R by 3. R by 3 cancelled. 2 10 cancelling we will get 5 at the bottom final answer is 4 by 5 4 r by 5 so in the same question we applied folding symmetry first 
then we applied mirror symmetry okay i think you got the idea well okay by after watching this video lecture you you take an objective book or multiple choice book and you try to solve the networks inside it using the tricks that we discussed in the video lecture okay and uh, this video lecture is now over okay best of luck and keep going 